all blocks available in MATLAB is one type of function block. But it's all pre-configured for a specific function. Now what if you want to add your desired function to MATLAB? So to fill this requirement, here there is a function block in MATLAB Simulink so that you can code your desired function the way you want. And that is what we are going to learn in today's video. Okay, so now let's first bring all the necessary components. First, I'll take a sine wave. And amplitude, I'll keep it as one only. And then to observe the output, we'll take one scope. So this is our scope and uh, we'll take uh, two windows, right? Why two? That I'll tell you a little later. We'll connect it. And let's, uh, before checking the output, uh, let's see the parameters. Amplitude 1, frequency 1. Let's make it 2. Uh, for a shake of changing something, let's make it 2. Okay, and now let's run. It is just to observe that what exactly the output of this simple sine wave. So it, it gives us a simple sine wave in output. And now the real thing comes that I want to change this sine wave to the square wave like this. And to do this, I want to add my own function to this block. So how to add this thing? We'll go to library and here you will write function. So there are varieties of functions available, but what we are going to use this MATLAB function right so you can double click it to bring or you can right click it and add to block so here we have our block another way to bring this block if you remember the name matlab function then delete it double click it and bring this matlab function sim link user defined function so here we have our block so now uh, the u will be the input, we will connect it to this side and y will be the output and that we want to observe in the scope, right. So in this scope, we will observe the output. Now to write the code, you need to double click it and a separate window will pop up. You will be diverted to the editor toolbox and here in the script file, you need to write your code. This y will be the output and that will be the function of u, which is basically your input. Here you can see that there is only one input and only one output. But instead of having only one input and one output, you can have multiple input and multiple output in this MATLAB function. How to do that thing that I'll tell you in the next section of this video. But right now, let's jump into the coding of this function. So what we want to do, we want to convert the simple sine wave into the square wave like this. And for that, I'm just writing the code. So this is the simple code we have written that if the input is greater than 0, y will be 1 and else if the input is less than 0, y will be minus 1 and that will give us the square wave of magnitude plus and minus 1. So let's jump to the simulation. So here first we will run this simulation. And ta -da, this is our output. You can see here the first signal is pure sine wave and the second one which is the output of our function. So this is how you can write a simple function in MATLAB. And now I'm going to tell you how you can have a multiple input, multiple output function. For that, uh, now let's add another source. Let's say we have another source and uh, uh, we'll We'll increase number of port, disconnect it and bring it inside. We'll keep the magnitude and frequency as it is, but we'll give it a phase shift of pi by 2. And these two looks like this, right? So it looks like this. Now what we want to do that when yellow signal is greater than this blue signal, I want to have a high pulse and the rest of the time I do not want any pulse, right? So let's do that thing in the function. 
So let's go to this function. Now here we have two inputs, right? So what we'll do, first change we'll make over here, uh, u and the another one is v, right? And our output is same y. So now here we'll change the condition. If u is greater than v, then we want y is equal to 1. And else we want y is equal to 0. So if our u signal is greater than the v signal, then only y will be 1. In all other condition, y will be 0. So let's get back to the simulation. Ta -da! Over here you can see there are two inputs, u and v. So we'll connect u with u and v with v. And the y will be output. Let's run. There we go. When the yellow signal is greater than the blue one, the output is high. And in all other condition, it is zero. So this is how you can have a multiple input in function. Now let's see how to have a multiple output in function. Close this thing, go to the function. And now we want to have multiple outputs also. So over here we'll make a small change y comma x so here we have two outputs and uh, uh, we'll make it like this if u is greater than v x will be minus 1 right and in other condition x will be 0 right so let's save it and let's jump back to the simulation. Ta -da! Here we have two outputs. Now we need to make some small adjustment into the scope. So now here we have the fourth window. And we'll connect it with this. Run it. And there we go. Here we have the another output. The red one is y and the green one is x. And now I'll tell you how you can write one function in another function. Come over here and uh, see, I have already prepared this function. If you don't know how to prepare a function, I have a separate video for that, how you can prepare a user defined function, right? So in first step, you need to create your own user defined function. The function which you want to use in this function block that you need to prepare separately and how to do that you can check out my another video for that so here i have already prepared the function and the name of this function is sum sum right so what i'll do instead of this x is equal to minus one i'll write another function over here and that is sum of u comma v right there we go so now let's run this thing and open it and you can see that the x is sum of both the signals right yeah one more thing i'd like to tell you that sometimes it happens that when you write any user defined function you need to save this function in any folder and uh, when your current working folder is not the same it will show some error so what you need to do is you need to save both these functions into the same folder so it will not show any error so that's all from this video, but there are many similar videos on MATLAB tutorial on this channel. Do refer those videos if you want to learn MATLAB. And if you enjoyed this one, then hit the like button and I'll see you into the next MATLAB tutorial.